He's Abdel Bari Atwan, and I welcome him back to the mother of all talk shows. Abdel Bari, uh, I know that you will be watching these events even more closely than everyone else. I just wanted your view on whether or not this came as a complete surprise to the Israeli authorities. There are many out there who can't get their heads round the most scrutinized fence in all the world being able to be smashed down and a very substantial number, it seems, of fighters able to break out of what Gideon Levy called the cage. What's your take on that? To be honest, uh, George, first, it is lovely to be with you again. Ser seriously, I follow your program all the time. What I want to say, I am all the time on the phone with my family in Gaza. Now, when we are speaking, the Israeli warplanes, American manufactured warplanes, are bombing the refugee camps in Gaza. Until now, more than 800 people were killed by these bombing. And uh, I just saw so I received a picture of two babies were killed by these uh, Israeli raids against Gaza. And the second thing, you know, I thought is Gaza, honestly, I thought Gaza is a superpower. When the United States sent its aircraft, uh, um, uh, you know, warplanes, F-15, F-16, uh, F-35, when they sent it to Gaza, I never thought that Gaza is a superpower. Why doesn't Biden send this to Ukraine to save the Ukrainian people? you know, and who actually destroyed their country, who actually uh, yani made it a failed state completely. The Israeli now uh, surprised by this. Why? Because they thought that nobody is daring to fight the Israeli. Nobody is daring actually to go and uh, try to liberate its uh, territories when, under the Israeli occupation. You know, the, 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 the faction there, they had exercise, military exercise, and actually they are trying to say that we are going to liberate our land. And they were very clear, but the Israeli joked and they said this is nonsense. Nobody can fight the Israeli. It is the arrogancy. So they were surprised. They were, you know, their intelligence service, which is supposed to be the best in the world, completely failed. Their military power, which is supposed to be the fourth power in earth, also failed completely. So now they are seeing about 700 Israeli were killed. And now most of the south of Israel or Palestine is now liberated by the faction, military faction from Gaza. George, and you know, you mentioned Gaza. Gaza is 150 square mile only. That's all. So does it need aircraft to, to defeat Gaza? I'm, I'm really surprised, you know, where is the American intelligence? This is supposed to be the biggest superpower in Earth and sending uh, aircraft to Gaza? sending aircraft to, uh, you know, faction which they only have is guns in order to fight or some bombs here or there. Where is the Israeli army? Where is the Israeli which is not, you know, uh, being defeated at all? Where are the, those, you know, brains, the Israeli brains who are controlling the country? So what I want to say, it is now, unfortunately, the West, you mentioned it. You know, there is no freedom of speech in this country anymore. Nobody called us and take our point of view. I haven't seen any Palestinian on the television, American television, British television, French television television and they are telling us that they are the civilized they are the most democratic countries they have the freedom of, of this expression they have the values of liberation of liberalism sorry liberalism and you know we are backward we are actually don't deserve even any any a program any program on the on the media here and that telling us you know you are you are 
backward. You are stupid. You are idiot. So you, what you deserve is to be killed. No, you are not allowed to live anymore. That's that's the message which they are sending us to us. Why they didn't interfere when the you know Israeli settlers stormed Al Aqsa Mosque? When when they actually bombed Gaza and killed more than three thousand people of them? Why we haven't seen these aircraft? Why we haven't seen the international illegality? Why we don't have seen you know you know the media which supposed to be actually sympathetic? with oppressed people. Well, uh, tell your relatives the American fleet is on its way. You'll be able to, they'll be able to look out and see uh, Joe Biden's Navy uh, very soon. There's no doubt at all that the lives and blood of Palestinian children and other Arabs for that matter, I'll come on to that in a minute, uh, is worth less than uh, the lives and the blood of Israelis. That's the only possible explanation for the fact that everybody in the West now knows about 700 dead Israelis, but they knew or at least cared nothing about the thousands, tens of thousands of Palestinian dead people over this last period. Uh, the the children of a lesser god it would seem am i right yes you are absolutely right george you know you are saying you know the truth here nobody would like to listen to this truth at all you know I, when i found my my family there in gaza they told me the bomb just was very close to us we were about to die and where is the international community you know look sh shall i summarize it that way you know they said to, to us the palestinians they said look you know what's fighting why should you fight you know come to the international community listen to the international community apply the international community resolutions of the security council and the, the general assembly why we will we gave the israeli state what we will give you a state okay we accepted that and then you know said no you have to talk to the israeli you have to negotiate with them you have to sit with them and you know you will find a solution that will support you we went and we signed all the palestine the plo signed uh, oslo agreement and this was 30 years ago george 30 years ago and since then we are talking to the israeli negotiating with the israeli uh, no protecting the israeli the the, the uh, palestinian national uh, authority protecting the settlers in the West Bank. And do you know what is our reward? Our reward as a Palestinian from the international community, from the Western civilized world is, you know, 800,000 settlers in the West Bank. 800,000 settlers. And to put Gaza under sanction, people living less than, the family, less, families li living less than Fifty dollars a month, and also the some aid, some uh, you know rice from the United Nations, and they don't have anything else. And this is the civilized world. You know the Israeli used to count the calories which they send it to the Palestinians in order to keep them to keep them in the edge of life. This is the civilized world. This is those people who are, you know, saying that we are representing the Western values on the Middle East. We are the only democracy in the Middle East. So we, what shall we do? What do you expect the people to do, the Palestinian people to do? They, you know, well, they uh, are yeah. well wh what I expect is exactly what has happened. Let me just shift your focus for a minute because I haven't seen anybody else mention this. Not one week ago, a terrorist attack in Syria on a passing out parade killed almost 100 people, 35 of them women and children. The blood was everywhere on the parade ground. It was an attack by a drone launched from Idlib in American-controlled Syria, occupied Syria. It was launched by Al-Qaeda, who are being protected by the United States and the so-called international community. 
And do you know, I have not seen one single report on that mass terrorist murder in Syria over this last week. So it's not just Palestinians. It's all the Arab blood that is almost worthless for the Western media and the Western politicians. George, you know, it is not only Syria. You remember Iraq. You remember a million people killed by those civilized Americans. They, to bring democracy to Iraq, to make Iraq the best country in the Middle East. Where is the democracy? Where is the, the, the Iraq, which used to be very, very, very luxury country? It's highly educate, educated. They destroyed Iraq. And now they are imposing sanctions on Syria. You know, I've been in Syria recently. The George, people li living less than a ten dollar a month and they cannot actually they don't go to work simply because they cannot pay for the trip they cannot pay the bus ticket that's a problem and the americans are very happy and they are supporting those criminals who actually uh, massacre those people on the uh, military uh, academy so uh, the same thing happened in libya george where is libya where is Libya? We saw, you know, there were, you know, uh, uh, earthquake. There were storm in Libya. What happened? You know, there is no actually any any means of saving the people. You know, thousands and thousands of people were killed because of the, this storm. So, yeah, where, where is the democracy in Libya? Where is the state in Libya? Where is the, you know, the, they promised the Libya to be the best in the world. Where is the money of the Libya? More than $200 billion of the, of the Libyan money were stolen. The same thing, who is controlling the oil field, the gas field, the, the uh, wheat field in in, in Syria. This is the American. It is the American gangster. So this is the America, the, the, you know, the prophet of democracy, prophet of freedom, prophet of, you know, human rights, prophet of luxury, uh, prosperity. That's what is happening. And when we say that, oh, you are, you are, you are a terrorist. No, you are support terrorism. Did I kill a million or two millions in Iraq? Did I kill, you know, every day there are people died in Syria? Did I make, uh, uh, you know, Libya anarchy and a failed state completely? And the people, half of the people now actually uh, fled to neighboring countries, to Syria and to Egypt, while their country is one of the richest in the world, it, it, at least a hundred billion dollars a year out of our revenue. This is, this is the uh, Condoleezza Rice uh, vision this is uh, hillary clinton vision this is uh, the uh, even obama vision who win the oil, oil uh, sorry who win the uh, uh, the prize you know so this is the, this is the problem nobel the nobel, the, the nobel the nobel laureate prize, yeah Yes, and you know I forget it because simply it is it is useless. It is nothing. So, George, what shall I summarize it that way? Now, now imagine the Israeli saying that the Isra the, the Palestinian uh, treating the Israeli uh, um, war, uh, you know the, the the Israeli citizen who were captured by the faction in Gaza, you know. Uh, the calling that they they are not treating him by a human way. Where, what, what, what kind? Tell me about the Israeli human history. Tell me about the the, the actually the, what they did to Lebanon, what they did to Gaza, what they are doing to uh, other places in Syria, bombing every day or every week. So this is the problem which we have, which we are witnessing in that part of the world.